Hi, this is an example of uh, removing rust with an electrolysis system that I've getting off the internet. We've purchased a 13 pint Falkirk um, castine kettle and it's all rusty so to clean up I've uh, bought a battery charger, filled the kettle with um, baking soda and water and then I've applied an electrode hanging in the centre um, connected to the pots so hopefully this will remove all the rust that we want internally It's um, Probably essential that you have the electrical contacts as clean as you possibly can. I've had to use a bell meter to make sure I had a good continuity. And you may be able to just see now the water is actually fizzing and buzzing, which is indicating that it's actually working. It's now been two hours since I turned on the the charger, and as you can see, a, a lot of the bacon um, powder is actually congealed together. But um, you can see the, the rust on the surface. It's now been six hours since I've um, put it on, and you can see the rust has just been totally removed inside. Um, I haven't done the outside yet, but uh, that there on oh, excellent method. I've changed from the baking soda to the, the washing soda and uh, there's a remarkable difference in the in the two. Definitely cleans it a lot better. I've just given it a quick scrub and it definitely is starting to loosen the rust so I may just put it back in for another 8 hours and give it a final scrub but uh, it's definitely doing the trick slowly Right, this is the kettle after I've um, had to take a wire brush to it just to make sure I got all the rust off. Um, which has been pretty, it's been the hardest job. And then I've um, covered it in lard and baked it in the oven 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit for an hour. So I'll do it a couple of more times, um, but it's looking pretty good. This is the kettle after I've finished seasoning it twice 